Our very first rickshaw in India. Hello, India. Nandri. <laughs> If you ever arrive in India, make sure to get a SIM card at the airport. We managed to walk ourselves into a little bit of a market situation. This entire neighborhood is just so, so colorful. Wow, what an eventful start to today. Yes. So we basically went to book some train tickets at Eggmore station. And it took us longer than we expected, but we ended up running into an absolutely incredible local who is from Andhra Pradesh, a state that's just slightly north from Tamil Nadu. And he managed to help us out big time. Absolutely incredible young man. So shout out to you if you are watching. I know that he, he asked us for our YouTube channel. So I think he subscribed. So shout out to you. Thank you very much for your help. So, so nice as well. He stayed with us for the entire duration. So we basically arrived at the train station and asked for directions because we didn't really know where to go. And he stayed with us probably for, I want to say an hour or so until we actually figured yeah. out where to book our train tickets, where we have to go, what we have to do and so on. So it was really, really helpful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> and now guys, we're on our very first our very first rickshaw in India. Very first, very first auto, auto rickshaw in India. Very interesting because in uh, Sri Lanka they call it a tuk-tuk, but here they call it an auto rickshaw. So yeah. uh, the majority of people refer to it as auto, whereas where I'm from, auto would be like an, uh, a, car. A, a car, like a normal vehicle, <laughs> big vehicle kind of kind of a situation. But here, uh, yeah. a rickshaw tuk-tuk is called an auto. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, have a look. We just left the Eggmore railway station. We have our tickets, so we're heading on to our next destination tomorrow morning. But this is the situation right now. Hello, India. Check it out. Absolutely incredible. This is just 130. Wow. Check this out. We just came all the way out here to St. Tom Church or St. Thomas Basilica from what I understood. And uh, we, we came here because we wanted to visit the tomb of the Apostle St. Thomas, Apostle Thomas basically. Um, we came all the way out here because we wanted to see sort of that side of India as well, because especially here in Chennai, you do see quite a few churches as well, so we wanted to see that side of the city as well. And it's super, super interesting. Um, entry is for free as well. Now, obviously, you can give some offerings if you want to. And uh, But yeah, we came here just to sort of check it out and uh, see where St. Thomas was buried. It's actually coming up to our first week now in India, which is pretty crazy to say. When we first arrived, if you guys saw our very, very first video uh, called First Time in India, you can see just how blown away and shocked we are and sort of a little bit overwhelmed by the whole experience. Now we're a little bit more settled in. I think we're still kind of on edge. It takes a while to get used to just how intense a city as large as Chennai is. Um, there's between 8 to 12 million people that are living around and in Chennai, so you can just only imagine. The traffic is very... Just have a look for yourself. Oh, yeah. It's kind of just a never-ending flow of traffic. Lots of beeping and lots of just all-around chaos. It's just like full on all of the time, uh, which is very different uh, for us, obviously, uh, coming from Europe. Now we've, we have experienced similar uh, situations in other countries, but I, but I wanted to say before I get stuck on that fence, we experienced similar situations um, 
in other countries traffic wise but I feel like this sort of tops it all <laughs> thank you so much Nandri as you can see it's a lot happening uh, everywhere around us all of the time but I'm starting to sort of enjoy it it's like a enjoyable chaos sort yeah, of yeah absolutely and the whole point of today's video is we're going to give you guys our first impressions our open and honest first impressions of India because as I said we've been here now for almost one week so we have gathered a little bit of an understanding of what it's like um, obviously we are starting down here in the south of India and a lot of people have said that that's a very good choice but yeah guys first week in India we're gonna take you guys on a little bit of a walk as well through the neighborhood of Mylapore in Chennai. It's a very well-known neighborhood for its street, street food. There's a whole bunch of other incredible things to check out, just like the St. Thomas Basilica as well. But yeah, guys, let's go and explore Mylapore and talk about our first impressions so far of this incredible country. Andre, thank you. <laughs> and the first thing I think that jumped out for Naomi and me, or Naomi and I, about certainly something that really just stands out for us is the people of this country have really positively blown us away. So as I said, we've only been here now coming up to one week and we have had literally countless experiences and all of them being positive so far with the people we just actually ran into this incredible guy that you would have seen there just in the last clip before this um, and i asked him could i take a video of him and he was like totally absolutely yes so i was able to film that which was a very unique experience seeing that guy and doing what he does absolutely incredible to see we're just blown away like we had that experience with the guy at the train station as well where yeah. he literally helped us it took like at least an hour for us to figure out how we were getting the train ticket sorted um, and in terms of first impressions of the people it couldn't be any more positive yeah that's exactly what i wanted to say as well sort of about the first takeaway from our very first week in tamil nadu itself i feel like we sort of arrived here having our guard up a little bit higher than it was maybe necessary now i don't know if that's the same case for other areas of india of course it's different depending uh, which state you are in but so far we really didn't have any negative experience with any people or any you know these types of situations where people want to sell you something i, I personally assumed coming to india that we will uh, be scammed or that people will try and sell us stuff for more money or something like that but nothing like that happened so far so Absolutely. it's very interesting actually we uh, probably had our guard up too high the majority <laughs> of people here don't even ask for any money so like they'll literally spend an hour helping you out and then they'll consider you as a friend and they will literally refuse money which is just incredible to be honest and have a look at just how beautiful this is here Hello. Oh, wow it's gorgeous so colorful Beautiful. the next thing that stands out for us in terms of first impressions is the amount the sheer amount of people can definitely be a little bit on the overwhelming side for you as a traveler or a tourist if you come to india and you're coming from a relatively small country now that being the case a lot of people have told us once you go outside of the major cities into the villages uh, you will obviously come across a lot less people and uh, it will be a lot less congested in terms of people and traffic and everything like that here in chennai that's not currently the case but it does make for a very very inter interesting setting there's so much things to do and there's so many people to meet and it's a great way to get involved and meet many of the locals as well. Now here being in Mylapore, uh, just, my God, check out this house. This entire neighborhood 
is just so, so colorful. Every single house, no matter where you look, has a different color. You have dark yellows, you have brighter yellows, blue, green, red, and so on. It just se really, really seems like uh, this neighborhood was sort of created to bring life and uh, joy basically um, into the neighborhood or into the lives of the people who live here it's so so beautiful and uh, yeah as you can hear probably it's a lot happening uh, same as we were on the other street we sort of thought the smaller street might be a little bit less congested but they seem to be the same amount of congested it's crazy it doesn't even feel like there's any street you can go to to get away from it but it's just so cool and it keeps everything super interesting as well <laughs> Those two schoolboys over there just smiled into the camera, really, really cute. Um, and that's sort of the overall theme, I feel, of Chennai or um, India, hopefully in general. Sorry, okay. <laughs> Nandri. Everybody is very smiley, very friendly, very outgoing. Um, even when people were helping us, we were trying to give them money and I kind of felt like if, um, it was taken like in a negative way because uh, they want to, they see us as friends immediately and obviously now when we are trying to give them money for their time that's against being friends so um, yeah it's very very interesting I didn't expect this at all of India everything is so insanely positive and friendly and smiley it's absolutely amazing pretty noisy right here guys but we just had a quick look at the temple called Kapalishwarar Kapalishwarar Temple of Lord Shiva, which is a must-see if you're here in Chennai. Very interesting. It's an absolutely gorgeous temple. And uh, the street that is just here that actually connects you to the temple is amazing. You have all of the flower sellers. You have amazing fruit markets like this one right here. These guys selling some amazing looking fruit. There's just so much going on. And uh, again, it's sort of overwhelming when you first walk into it but i think we're becoming more and more comfortable now yeah i feel like we're sort of getting accustomed to it and uh, also this street here obviously now in this area it smells like fruits but if you go closer towards the temple it's yeah you have this overwhelming smell of flowers it's really really nice uh, to actually be in the area and there's sort of a lot of hustle and bustle going on with people from different cultures and uh, it's just very very nice to see sort of the area it's very nice very colorful very good smelling uh, with flowers so uh, it's and very inc nice. incense as well, incense as well yeah. it's Super amazing cool. here you have some some people coming from school some children but yeah this whole area guys the whole area of Mylapore is incredibly interesting it's a beautiful neighborhood very old neighborhood from the looks of it but very affluent as well super interesting the buildings the architecture everything about this neighborhood is very different to other neighborhoods which is something that i actually wanted to talk about a little bit and maybe naomi will talk about as well you see a massive contrast uh, between each individual area of chennai so there's some areas that you can walk through such as ananagar uh, for example or adyar and they're very very sort of developed very new very clean very uh, there's a lot of investment that goes into them and then there's neighborhoods like Mylapore where you can really see the culture the culture the history is just so vibrant in this neighborhood it really just stands out and it just adds a whole different level of character to your day when you come and explore a neighborhood like this but the contrast between those neighborhoods is really really incredible yeah i kind of feel like uh, chennai has something for everybody to offer depending on what you are looking for on your journey or if you are a citizen what you're looking for on your day-to-day -day life you don't have to be on a journey and uh, there is something for people who might be on a spiritual journey on a religious journey um, if you're just looking for sort of western culture large malls uh, supermarkets and fast food chains you will find that here as well there is this huge beach which is the longest beach in um, all of asia i think it's the second longest in the world so um, there seems to be sort of something for everybody just depending on what you're looking for in your day-to-day -day life or on your journey if you are uh, as we are just traveling around basically <laughs> well we managed to walk ourselves into a little bit of a market situation uh, it looks like they have a lot of clothes sort of belts shoes jewelry from what it looks like a little bit of everything i don't know <laughs> nandri sorry so they have a little bit of everything here in the area very very interesting to see 
And um, if you are wondering how we have been getting around other than walking, obviously, um, I sort of feel like the best app for India, at least in Tamil Nadu, I cannot speak about the other states, obviously, uh, are Uber and Ola. Um, from what it seems like, interestingly enough, Uber seems to be the cheaper option of them both. And uh, Ola is uh, a local app for transportation where you can book rickshaws, but you also can book sort of cars and everything like that. And uh, But something to note in case you do arrive in India, you need an Indian phone number for all of them. And uh, it's very difficult to get an Indian phone number once you leave the airport. We made the mistake, we left the airport and it was uh, a lot of effort to get SIM cards basically because you need a, a, an Indian alternating phone number as a verification, sort of a, as a reference basically uh, to get your SIM card. So if you ever arrive in India, make sure to get a SIM card at the airport. Just save yourself the, the uh, struggle basically. I think it took us like three or four hours just to get a SIM card, right? Yeah. It was like a, around three, three and a half hours of literally just sitting in the store and just uh, trying to figure it out. And it was, to be honest, a little bit of a nightmare. But do yourself a favor and when you do arrive, just grab yourself a SIM card as soon as you arrive at the airport, as Naomi said, and you'll save yourself so much hassle. Hello. Hello. I sort of feel like we, for us, it took a long time for immigration. We were sort of queuing for probably two hours at least to just get uh, into India, basically to do the whole immigration part. And uh, that's why we sort of rushed to get to our luggage because we weren't sure where our luggage was located or if it was still going in circles or not. So that's why we rushed there and we sort of um, just left the airport without looking for the SIM card. So take your time, look for the SIM card, don't rush things. Don't make the same mistakes as we do. It's <laughs> not comfortable. <laughs> Speaking of transportation as well, something that was uh, very incredible to experience when we first arrived at the airport was the metro system. Hello. The metro system here in Chennai was incredible. And I've heard actually from many people that have visited India before, the metro systems that are connecting these large cities or are within these large cities typically amazing and very, very hyper-developed. It's very modern as well. If you even compare it to places in Europe, you'll probably find that the metro systems are even more convenient here, which is incredible. Uh, we hopped on the metro from Chennai airport, took us almost directly to where we're staying. So super, super easy and very convenient for very, very little money as yeah. well. All of that for 60 rupees each, which yeah. is uh less than a euro i want to say 80 cents so yeah, yeah. maybe yeah 80 85 cents per very person. affordable and it was quite a long journey so i actually anticipated it to be a lot more expensive uh, and also the metro here is super super clean uh, when we saw it we sort of compared it i want to say to the metro in barcelona yeah the last time when we were in spain it's like a similar layout similar cleanliness very very nice and affordable so i can only recommend you guys to take the metro if you don't want to uh, take a Ola or an Uber. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Andre. Sorry guys, we made it back into our own area, which is called Tinagar, uh, where we're staying at the moment. And they have this massive bazaar here, which is called what was it called? Pondi Bazaar? Pondi Bazaar. Pondi so Bazaar. It's a very well known <laughs> place to come to get like saris and silk and loads of different things. Yeah, it sort of looks like it's like a little bit of a mixture of like Western, as you can see here, for example, Skechers, um, Western shops and uh, local shops. So you do have loads and loads of areas here where you can buy um, saris or any sort of traditional uh, apparel. And uh, over there you have some markets, like some actual bazaars as well, um, which we haven't checked out yet. We actually have to go in there at some stage because I re I'm really curious to see what it looks like from the inside. This is the area we are staying in at the moment. Just for reference, uh, we took uh, auto rickshaw to get back here. It was about three kilometers and we paid a little bit under a euro. So really, really affordable, um, super great way to get around and uh, yeah, 
this area here is sort of buzzing as well with people um, but I feel like there's a little bit less traffic here in the area right it's a little bit more of a quieter area and Tinegar itself <laughs> as a neighborhood I think it's absolutely perfect um, as kind of a starting point if you are coming to Chennai as a tourist so if you're watching this as maybe a westerner or, or, um, or something like that and you're looking to come and stay in Chennai I think Tinegar is a great option for you I think we both feel incredibly safe here and um, it is a relatively laid-back neighborhood if you compare it to a lot of the places that are more like closer to marina beach for example it gets a little bit more hectic but it's just a great spot there's a lot going on there's a lot of commerce you have the pondy bazaar you have loads of different restaurants loads of different options for food here which is really amazing it's great to have at your doorstep access to so much um, and it's a great way to sort of jump right in to uh, India for us I don't think we could have picked a better city to start off this trip in other than Chennai and Tamil Nadu yeah. it just seems to be the perfect place to get this whole trip started and in terms of a first impressions, we are absolutely in love with this city. I feel like this area here sort of eases you into your India experience. I feel like if we would have started in a place like Mumbai or even Delhi, it would have probably been very overwhelming uh, for the first few days. But here, I just feel like, yeah, it's just like a very welcoming uh, city. Obviously, there are lots and lots of people. There's a lot of traffic. There's actually so much traffic that I feel like I don't have any voice left. So I do have a sore throat from trying to shout over the traffic all day. Um, but it is very sort of, it's very nice. It's relatively calm for what I expected of India. So I think it's the perfect area and the perfect time as well to come here. So we just hopped into our local shop here. And what I find really, really interesting is that they have a massive amount of Cadbury sweets, candy, chocolates, and so on. Even sort of these types of Cadbury bars that I personally have never seen in my life that are like darker chocolates and fruits and so on. Um, it's a very, very cool little neighborhood shop, basically, where we are at the moment. I really like this area. I don't know if we were to make a decision on where to move in India, I think Chennai would be a valid option. Uh, Luke just ran out the other side. <laughs> I, I sort of walked around to find Luke, but he already is on the other side of the shop. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are pretty much back at our accommodation now. Um, today has been a wonderful day of exploring. It is actually surprisingly warm today. The last few days we were sort of saying how not warm it was, but uh, I think we jinxed it a little bit. So today was quite warm right yeah it's on the hot side today we're also uh, obviously wearing getting used to wearing slightly longer clothes and I think because of that just walking around like we have been we've been walking for like three or four hours pretty much all throughout uh, Chennai city and we're absolutely blown away by just how incredible this place is in terms of first impressions I think you can probably sense from us it's very very positive and we're very excited to explore a lot more of incredible mm. India. The size of the city as well is just so mind-blowing. Like I never expected it to be this huge. It's massive. You, yeah. cannot, you cannot imagine how large Chennai is. Yeah, it's awesome. And if you compare it as well to many, many other countries, this is a once in a lifetime experience for us definitely to be exploring. So we're very, very grateful and happy to be here. But for now, guys, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the Two Mad Explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. See you guys in the next Indian adventure. Nandri Pawachi. Danyavad, and I'll chat to you soon. Bye-bye.